Within the last few years, SpaceX has become one of the leaders in space exploration. The most recent news was that the company was picked by NASA to build the human lunar lander. This was an honor as it would have been the first lunar lander since the Apollo program. However, it's just been announced that NASA has suspended work on the almost $3 billion lander. A NASA spokeswoman said the following. Pursuant to the GAO protests, NASA instructed SpaceX that progress on the contract has been suspended until GAO resolves all outstanding litigation related to this procurement. End quote. SpaceX, though, has a busy year ahead of them in terms of launches and are still working on the human Mars mission. Elon said the following. You want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great, and that's what being a space frame civilization is all about. It's about believing in the future, and thinking that the future will be better than the past, and I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. End quote. Right now though, there's a group of people that are asking Elon to go to the moon and investigate a mysterious anomaly, saying that whatever this thing is, it needs to be investigated as it looks like a giant ship. The individual who found this craft is Scott C. Waring, a vocal UFO researcher who's claimed he's found various UFOs and ships in space. Although NASA have replied to some of these claims and debunked them as camera anomalies and other occurrences that happen in space, Regardless, Mr. Waring believes this large craft is the real deal, and even said the first space company to reach this could potentially uncover advanced tech. He said the following about the discovery. When looking over the Apollo 15 panoramic images, I came across a photo that has a mothership in it. It's not a cloud. Clouds do not exist on the moon. So I enlarged the photo and saw that not only was it a ship, it looks very similar to the Starship Voyager from Star Trek. End quote. He goes on to claim that the ship in question measures over 10.6 kilometers, or 6.5 miles. Amateur researchers have come forward in recent years and claim they found similar looking objects in old photographs, and they say this proves that there's more going on than what we're being told about. And in some cases, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration is even editing out these images in the hopes that we won't see them. Amateur researchers say they do this because they think if the majority of the population found out about these things, they would just panic. Recently, he, along with other researchers, have asked Elon to consider checking out the location, saying that this could be the discovery of a lifetime and could help us to answer the old age question of whether we're truly alone in the universe. This isn't the first time that someone has asked this from Elon. With all of the recent SpaceX launches, some watchers have claimed they've seen UFOs close to the rockets, saying that whatever these things are, they're clearly interested in our tank, as every time we send a rocket into space, these unidentified flying objects can be seen buzzing the crafts. However, these people may be preaching to the wrong person, as in the past Elon has been quite vocal about the fact that he's never seen any evidence to suggest that UFOs are genuine. He did say it's likely that consciousness might exist in the vastness of space, but also said if there were UFOs out there, he would know about them. Going on to say the following, I've seen nothing to indicate there are any alien civilizations whatsoever, I'd be the first to jump on that in a second, but I've seen no such evidence. End quote. He also went on to criticize UFO photographs, saying that the majority of them are blurry and you can't make out what the object is. Some people hit back at this though, and said that the majority of eyewitnesses aren't expecting to see them, which causes the photos to be blurry. Also, as mentioned by photographers and eyewitnesses, they've said that it's incredibly hard to take a photograph of a UFO on an everyday smartphone, saying that they're not designed to take photographs of fast-moving objects hundreds of feet in the sky. Believers have said it's one of the most frustrating things that people say when talking about UFOs, as until what happens to you, you don't understand how hard it is to photograph a UFO. 
For years now, UFO researchers have said the moon is a hotspot for UFOs, even going as far as saying it's one of the best places to see mysterious crafts. This has led to amateur researchers coming through NASA's huge library in the hopes of finding something of interest. One photograph that did stump NASA was this one. It's been called the break-off, and it shows what looks like a large object hovering close to the moon. Some have said it could be a chunk of the moon that came off, but UFO believers have said it looks like an unidentified flying object. Oddly enough, in the next photo that was taken by the space agency, the object can no longer be seen. The photograph is still in NASA's archives, and various newspapers reached out to the space agency in the hopes of getting an answer for what this object is. NASA spokeswoman Lynette Madison said that people are too quick to label things as UFOs, but said that the photograph is strange, and that, as of right now, they can't explain what it is. We all go about our daily lives, sometimes forgetting that we're on a tiny rock travelling 2.2 million kilometres, or 1.3 million miles per hour. It's an uncomfortable truth that we are vulnerable within the universe. It's a fact that asteroids approach the Earth every year. There's never a guarantee of total safety, and it's just a matter of sheer luck as to whether we are directly hit. If an object were 20 miles wide heading towards Earth, we'd have as little as 20 years warning. It's hoped that Earth's largest space agencies and scientists could combine forces to create missiles to destroy the asteroid before it reaches our atmosphere. However, the chances of the succeeding may be rather slim, and it would be years before we could tell whether or not this idea was successful. Therefore, it's likely that alternative survival strategies would be formulated in the event of missiles failing to intercept the asteroid. In fact, a recent study was conducted a few days ago on the 26th of April, revealing to NASA that even the most powerful missiles would not be able to stop a large-scale asteroid colliding with Earth. This simulation showed scientists that the asteroid would be hardly affected, and that six months is not enough time to prepare a spacecraft to take out the asteroid. The test was scored the space mission options for the hypothetical asteroid impact scenario, and Lindy Johnson, NASA's planetary defense officer, said the following. Each time we participate in an exercise of this nature, we learn more about who the key players are in a disaster event, and who needs to know what information. These exercises ultimately help the planetary defense community communicate with each other, and with our governments to ensure we are all coordinated, should a potential impact threat be identified in the future. End quote. Dr. Paul Chodis said the following, Hypothetical asteroid impact exercises provide opportunities for us to think about how we would respond in the event that a sizable asteroid is found to have a significant chance of impacting our planet. Details of the scenario, such as the probability of the asteroid impact, where and when the impact might occur, are released to participants in a series of steps over the days of the conference to simulate how a real simulation might evolve. End quote. We have been hit by a number of asteroids in recent years. The evidence for this is ancient craters which can be found all over our planet. Even in recent times, asteroids have caused extensive damage to Earth. One example of this is an asteroid 66 feet wide that hit Russia back in 2013. Reports indicated that the blast damaged around 7,000 buildings and injured around 1,500 people within the surrounding area. For Vesta is one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt, and is often described as a protoplanet. The fact that For Vesta is almost spherical means it narrowly avoids classification as a dwarf planet. Named after the Roman goddess of the Harfen household, For Vesta is the second largest asteroid after the dwarf planet series. Wider than England, for Vesta is estimated to have a surface area that is around the same size as that of Pakistan. For Vesta is the brightest asteroid that can be seen from Earth, 
and it was discovered back in 1802 by Henrik Olbers. Sometimes four Vesta can even be seen by the naked eye. If four Vesta were to make contact with the Earth, it would cause devastation on an unthinkable scale. If the impact which led to the extinction of the dinosaurs is anything to go by, a direct hit from four Vesta would cause mass fires, debris and smoke which would likely block out the sun, lowering temperatures to a point that it would take out the majority of Earth species. The impact would cause earthquakes and enormous tsunamis, followed by volcanic regions forming around the impact zone. The chaos would take years to settle, and widespread extinction of Earth species would be inevitable. The impact could easily destroy huge mountain ranges such as the Himalayas, let alone cities such as New York and London. For Vesta is truly massive, accounting for almost 9% of the total mass of all asteroids. It's 50 times wider than the asteroid which caused the dinosaurs to become extinct. Therefore, the destruction it would cause is truly outside our imagination. Even an asteroid as small as the size of a house, hurling towards Earth at 30,000 miles per hour would cause a massive amount of damage. Thankfully, scientists have calculated that a direct hit from 4 Vesta is extremely unlikely. Currently, 4 Vesta is orbiting the Sun at a distance of 170 million kilometers, or 105 million miles from Earth. Scientists announced that last year on the 16th of July 2020, it was visible in the sky. Astronomers said it appeared as a faint yellow dot. Fortunately, a collision with an asteroid large enough to cause significant damage to the Earth is unlikely. However, it's not merely the work of science fiction as it's certainly not impossible. Large unknown asteroids could still be out there heading towards our planet. In his last book published in 2018, Stephen Hawking said that he believed an asteroid collision to be the biggest threat to the planet. Although NASA has done a great job at cataloging countless asteroids, they said that one recently slipped through. An asteroid by the name of 2019 OK made headlines around the world. This wasn't because of its size but rather because of its sudden appearance. Our best scientists and researchers had no idea this object was flying past us until the last minute, at which point it would have been too late. This asteroid is estimated to be 57 to 130 meters in diameter, or 187 to 426 feet. It was the closest an asteroid had come to Earth in 2019. So what do you make of this recent simulation? and the fact we won't be able to stop asteroids. Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.